Duplin County is located in southeastern rural North Carolina, very typical of a rural county, um, large in agriculture, large in tradition and history. We're typical of today's rural county, I think, because our poverty rate is high, our unemployment rate is extremely high. One third of the citizens in Duplin County earn a median income of $16,679 or less. And yet another third neither has completed high school nor earned any college credit or a college degree. The only way to get out of poverty is to replace it with prosperity. So that is the reason why we all say we're going to do whatever it takes to give every child the opportunity. Now we're not saying every child have to go to four year college. That's not what we're saying. But what we're saying is, is their choice. We're tired of choosing for them or trying to tell them what to be or what not to be. And one thing we believe is, is that when you engage them in the conversations about college, about the future, usually it's telling them about it. But when you show it to them, they have a different interpretation of what that truly meant to them. It is not the rigor that scares our children. It is just the perception that college is beyond rich. So we feel like to, to, to create a college-going culture, we have to start early and give them enough years to research, explore what in life we want to be. And I think the neat thing about all of this is that students are now saying, wow. So really, I really don't have to be a millionaire to be on campus. Or I really don't have to be that so-called genius to be on campus. But what we've done for so long is to deprive them of that opportunity. And public school is not designed for that. Public school is to take you where you are, develop your talent, and create opportunities for your talent to flourish. That's all. Whether they want to go to a career, or they want to go to college, but what we're telling them is, you got to have preparation beyond high school. They all cannot go to Harvard, or Yale, or Miami, but none of our kids belong to the street now.